Good evening, everybody. My name is Ben Rawl. I'm the owner and guide at Highway 3 Angler in Alaska's Susitna Valley. Uh, it is a cold, blustery night. Um, I can hear the wind just sitting here, and uh, um, it's a perfect night to tie flies. So. Uh, if, uh, if there's any issues with the sound or the lighting, please let me know in the comments. Uh, these videos, or all of the Fly Tying After Dark videos, are archived on the Highway 3 Angler Facebook page and the Highway 3 Angler YouTube page. <clears throat> if you have any questions or comments, uh, as I tie these flies, please let me know in the comments section on the Facebook live feed. And then there's also a question of the night. And I have that pinned as the top comment. And the question is, what is your number one fly fishing destination on your bucket list? So if you have a bucket list, if you're the type of person that does that, I'm curious as to what is number one on your bucket list for a fly fishing destination. So tonight we're going to be tying two flies. Um, the first fly we're going to tie is a variation of the partridge and orange. I call it the partridge and sparkle orange. And the second fly we're going to tie is a variation of a bunny leech called the peri uh, called the polar bunny leech. Try to get a good view of that. <laughs> kind of close. So, uh, 
We got one fly for trout and one for salmon. Hi, Mike. Thanks for joining me tonight. Hope everything is going well. So for the partridge and sparkle orange, we're going to start with an Umpqua U103 size 12 hook. That's what we got right here. Uh, we got Vivas A dot thread in orange. I'm going to get that started behind the eye. Just lay down a thread base here. So the other materials you're going to need for this fly are pretty simple. Um, you're going to need a Hungarian, Hungarian partridge hackle looks like this comes in a bag like this or you can find a skin that would be good you need some of this uh, sparkle braid in the mid size uh, fluorescent fire orange uh, this is an unweighted fly I forgot to mention, you're also going to need a little dubbing. Uh, you got the dark hairs of your dubbing. So to get started, I'm just going to tie in about a uh, five inch piece of the sparkle braid. And I'm going to tie this in just about at the uh, middle of the, the hook. I brought that thread back to just above the oh not again <laughs> oh I need the picture I get distracted <laughs> sorry Mike I'm not sure why I'm uh, forgetting about that. That's like the most important part. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the sparkle braid, tie it in uh, about the middle of the hook shank. Go back to just about the uh, barb and then bring the thread back up to where I tied it in. And I'm going to wrap the sparkle braid forward. So about two thirds of the way up the shank here. Next, I'm going to take just a little bit of the hairline uh, dark hairs here, dubbing. I'm going to make a thorax to kind of prop up the partridge feather in the front.
lastly, you're going to tie in the partridge feather. Um, you could do vari various lengths on your feather. I like the tips to go back to just about the barb, but I've seen them where the tips will come to um, the point of the hook. I've seen them go past the bend of the hook. So it's where, wherever you uh, prefer, but I'm going to try to go back to just about the barb on this. And I'm only going to do maybe two to two and a half turns to this feather. I'm going to tie it in at the tip. That's going to happen. Try that again. I'm going to take my hackle pliers. Let's do a couple of couple of turns here. And fold fold these tips back. Got some stray feathers coming forward, but that's all right because we're going to use the thread to kind of push them back here. Things that really stands out on this fly is usually have a pretty large head built up here. Three wrap whip finish. So you can fish this fly like you would a nymph uh, under an indicator if you want. Uh, you can you can swing it, uh, which is what I would pre prefer to do. Uh, maybe with the light sink tip. So let's see. Wonder what Mike's laughing about. Mike in the comment is laughing. He's either laughing because I forgot about the video or he's laughing because I cut the feather off. <laughs> All right. So, we're at a. Uh, intermission here and I wanted to mention that today the fly fishing film tour went live uh, there there was no in-person shows this year unfortunately so the the tour is virtual only and um, if you go to your local fly shop and around here that's uh, Mossy's in Anchorage or Three Rivers in Wasilla um, and you purchase something it can be anything, literally anything. Uh, you will get a, uh, well, they'll show you a QR code and you scan that with your phone and you can get $5 off your ticket uh, for the F3T. Um, you probably have seen this logo or graphic around. That is uh, uh, the design for this year's poster. Um, hopefully next year, 
we can get back to uh, in-person shows. Hopefully later this later this year. Our next fly is the uh, polar bunny leech. I'm going to start off with the Daiichi 2441 in size 1-at. Let's see. Well, Mike's uh, bucket list is Kamchatka or the Maldives or Maldives. Man. I hope you get to go there someday, Mike. That would be pretty sweet. Point three zero five lead wire. I'm going to do about uh, twelve wraps. Uh, Vivas A dot pink thread. Start that just behind the eye and come down and secure these thread wraps. Bring the thread back to uh, just halfway between the point and the bar. For the materials for the rest of this fly, you're going to need uh, some rabbit strip. You can do pink, purple, or two-toned with pink and purple. You're going to need some uh, purple rabbit strips. And a uh, purple UV polar chenille. I'm going to tie in the tail first, which will be my two-tone rabbit strip. And the tail is going to be uh, probably one and a half times uh, the length of the hook shank. You can always trim it shorter, but you cannot add on. So I'm going to start with it right about there. Have that camera zoomed in for the uh, zoom in on the that size 12 hook.
Next up, we're going to tie in the polar chenille. I'll just take about a six inch piece here. tie in on top of that a piece of purple uh, barn strip. Bring the thread forward. All right. So you take the uh, you take the rabbit and the polar flash and stroke them both backwards and wrap at the same time. And lastly, you're going to add strung uh, guinea feather. So you can see right there. There's a collar right in the front. And I'm going to choose a big feather here. Chose a big one. I'm going to tie this in at the at the tip. Thread forward. I'm going to do uh, probably three, three wraps on this and as I full stroke these fibers back while I wrap. It's going to do. 
those fibers back, build up a nice head. Rewrap with finish. Do that two times. And let's see, I'm going to take my brush here and just brush this out a little bit. Polar bunny leech in purple and pink. Okay, we don't don't have any uh, any other comments as far as the question of the night goes. So I think we'll just call that. Um, Flight time after dark. We'll be back next week, and make sure you follow the Highway Three Angler Facebook page and uh, select that you want to receive notifications so you know when the next uh, flight time session is scheduled. Again, the Fly Fishing Film Tour is going on and you can get a discounted ticket at your local fly shop by making a purchase. Um, and that's about it. Have a good night, everybody.